is the Emergency Medical Minute. So we're going to talk about something that scares the living bejesus out of us. Someone said clowns, and sadly, clowns are not the subject of today's Medical Minute. What is is pregnant ladies and potentially sick pregnant ladies, right? So a uh, pregnant lady comes in, and feeling short of breath, right? Uh, and we have to consider what for our diagnosis. What's the big thing we can't miss? PE, right? And PE is a very important diagnosis in the context of pregnancy because it's one of the leading causes of maternal mortality. Uh, PE has caused around 20% of maternal mortality, so that's a pretty high number. One in every five deaths in terms of pregnancy is caused by a PE. So it's one of those things that we have a heightened sensitivity for. Now, the scary thing is none of us knows what the hell to do for it. <laughs> um, there's a lot of disagreement between different medical societies about how you should evaluate a, a pregnant lady with a potential PE. And overall, physiology never helps you in pregnancy because what happens in pregnancy? You get bigger. Your respiratory rate increases in pregnancy. Progesterone itself, which gets higher, actually makes you feel short of breath. So it's an extremely common complaint. Um, there's the American Thoracic Society. And what's our normal screening for PE? D-dimer. American Thoracic Society says you should not be using D-dimers to screen pregnant ladies with PEs. Uh, other people, like we have in emergency medicine, this uh, big PE guru called Jeff Klein, he says, hey, we can use D-dimers rationally. And you'll see these adopted D-dimers where we basically give you 250 for every trimester of pregnancy. So if you're a first trimester, you can be under 750. You know, second trimester under 1,000. Third trimester under 12,000, uh, 1,200, 500. No, sorry. 100, 1,250. My God, I think I was having a stroke. Okay, so what, do, what should we do? Is one, I think D-dimer testing does give you some information, but you can't really hang your hat on it. What we often do for pregnant ladies, short of CT scanning them or something that has a lot of radiation, is actually ultrasounding bilateral lower extremities, right? Because that, that's where most big PEs come from. And if that's negative, kind of having a shared decision-making model with the patient where we either decide to treat or to not treat based on what that ultrasound shows. We've talked with our radiologist about what we should be doing. Both a VQ scan and a CT scan both have a lot of radiation to them. And our radiologist group, at least at this point, feels strongly that a CTA with just contrast, not a CT with and without contrast, which has twice the radiation, is really the right approach to it. So if you see a pregnant lady with a potential PE, you'll probably see a lot of us ordering bilateral VQ scans. We might order a D-dimer and then afterwards have a shared conversation with that patient about, hey, should we undergo a CT? Should we not? Should we watch this a little longer? So a really difficult patient population, very difficult problem, and no medical society agrees what, what we should do. So. Yeah, so... So treating, yeah, so again, if we decide to thin someone, that has its own complications. Heparin is nice because if you do go into active labor, we can reverse heparin and you can deliver. But there's always kind of that, that risk of anticoagulation as well. Yeah. So, okay, thank you, team. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.